Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Yet another face mask video. Probably be doing face masks for the rest of my life. But anyway, I am doing the Formula 10.0.6 series of masks. I've gotten them all at Ulta. They have all been very affordable at $6.99 a mask, except for $8.99 for the, they have a bubble clay mask. And so um, I've got five more to do, and then I'm gonna be doing a giveaway and I will have details. It's six minis of these. And this is, I'm just taking off the top. I haven't smelled this one yet. This one is Be Berry Clear Illuminating Peel Mask with Raspberry and Acai, which I love both of those. Bring out your best with this skin brightening peel mask. Raspberry and Akai deliver powerful antioxidants to help minimize pores, calm flare-ups, and smooth skin. Sit back, relax, and renew. You deserve it. Apply to freshly cleansed and dried skin. Got that. Smooth on a thin coating over face and neck, avoiding eye area. Allow mask to dry for 10 to 15 minutes and peel off starting from the jaw. Line upwards, finish by rinsing skin thoroughly with warm water, pat skin dry, and you can use this one one to three times per week on all um, alternate days. Uh-oh. I think we're in trouble. Do you remember that other one I did? I can't remember the name of it now. It was a peel mask and it smelled really more like men's cologne, like cheap cologne, um, and really alcoholy. This one is the same. Yeah. Shoot. Well, I'm going to put it on and do it anyway. See if we have some kind of amazing results. Yeah, this is really strong and really, really, really alcohol. Um, smelling. I know that they have to use these, use alcohol in these masks, but like the Glam Glow masks, they have a peel mask that is so fantastic. Now, I don't know if those, I would have to look up the ingredients again. I did a series on most of those. Um, I'm sure they have alcohol in them, but they smell so wonderful and so fresh. They don't smell like chemicals. This smells very chemically. So it's two of them now. Um, but I know you don't have to put a ton of alcohol in these peel masks to get them to work. It's frustrating. If you want to get affordable skincare, not everybody can afford Glam Glow masks. And there's even, obviously, higher end masks than Glam Glow. And they're so flippin' expensive. So, I, I, I just feel guilty even putting this on my skin. I feel like I have to apologize to my skin. Anytime I smell something that just is inundated with that alcohol smell and this... The scent itself does not smell like raspberry or acai. It's, it smells like men's cologne. I'm not digging it. Anyway, I will be back in about 15 minutes to um, peel the mask off and see, you know, if there are any awesome results with this and what I think. Okay, bye. Hey everyone, so um, this dried relatively quickly. And I'm going to go ahead and try and peel it off and see what, wow, this is like kind of shellacked to my face. Let's see if I can get, Let's see if I can get a, a good grip. Oh, wow. This is like, okay, there's a little bit. There we go. And we're off. So it comes off nicely. It's not too hard to get started and it uh, doesn't hurt. 
peeling it off. Some of these dry, not any of this line, but I've had peel masks that dry like paper on your skin and it feels like you're pulling the first layer off. What's funny is once this sits on your face for a while, it doesn't smell so alcoholy anymore. It actually smells really pretty, but still perfumey, which tells me that that's got chemicals in it that I don't want on my skin. Let's see. Okay, so I didn't get it all off yet. I'll get it off after, but um, I'm really surprised my skin actually does not feel dry. It feels nice and soft. It feels moist or moisturized, I should say. Um, dewy and supple. So that's hopeful. Anyway, um, I will use this one again, just not as often as they say to because of the intense alcohol smell. But I am here to inform and that's what I have to inform you of. Okay, four more of these to go and then the contest. So keep watching, keep tuning in, and uh, we will have the details on the last, um, the last one. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Bye.